Hello my little seedlings, welcome back to or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Toffee and I'm so happy to have you here in our cozy corner of the internet. In today's video I will be building my very first build on my new forest core island and it's going to be the entrance. As you can see my entrance is super tiny, like crazy tiny, I think it's like six spaces which makes me very sad. Um, but let's see if we can work with what we've got. So as always I'm going to start by building up the landscaping and I'm going to step up my landscaping a heck of a lot for this island. I have such big dreams. Um, there's going to be a lot more terraforming and a lot more uh, waterscaping. So this is probably going to be quite a big build. It did take me a long time so if you want to skip past the terraforming and you're not interested in it or hearing me babble then I will put a timestamp in the description to go straight to the decorating so you can just skip it if it doesn't interest you. <laughs> Every time I film, all of my villagers be so unhappy, like everybody will always be fuming in the background or they will have, I'm not sure what that one is, it's kind of like the purple swirls. My poor villagers are so unhappy. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to talk about a little something. As most of you will have noticed, I have new art on my YouTube channel now and it is so, so beautiful. And I really wanted to just give um, a shout out to the amazing artist that created it all for me, my friend Yapo. I really hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, she's just incredible. She's so talented. She's the sweetest bean I've ever met. And I mean, just look at all the beautifulness that she has created for me. I, I couldn't ask for anything more. So I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you, Yapo, because you have made my eyes happy and my little tiny dreams come true. So now I'm starting to waterscape. And it seems to be a common theme with my waterscaping about making loops, so everything kind of joins together. I'm not sure why, uh, it just be how I be. <laughs> I uh, keep running back to the airport because I kind of want to see if it looks cute from the airport's point of view. So like when somebody first comes to the island, if, like, if they can see, you know, the hard work from the distance. <laughs> and because I like enclosed islands, of course I had to enclose the entrance. I am so, so beyond excited to do a forest core island. I have seen so many people do kind of overgrown islands um, and they've just been absolutely amazing, but I didn't think I could ever, ever pull it off. So I am so excited to actually have to uh, put a lot of effort into my terraforming. I mean, I usually do, but the people who terraform kind of natural islands, I can't even imagine the amount of hours that it takes. Thank you. 
So I just wanted to mark out my waterfalls because I kind of had a little bit of an idea of how I was going to make the rivers join to the cliffs on top of this cliff. So I thought it would be easier to mark it out so that I could kind of see at least the area that I need to work with. Oh, and because I have a new island, I've been figuring that I could probably do all of my villager hunts on streams. I know I say all the time that I'm going to stream more, but I'm just, I'm so shy. I'm such an awkward bean. <laughs> I feel like everything I say doesn't make any sense. Like what I think in my brain, it, it doesn't come out the same way that I'm thinking it. <laughs> I will stream more because I want to stream more. I swear. <laughs> So I'm just joining all the rivers up and then I think I actually realized that I kind of made a bit of a boo-boo with the cliff and I kind of had to go back and fix that. <laughs> it really wasn't as I uh, envisioned it. <laughs> If you couldn't already tell, I love to do these little kind of round rivers around the cliffs. I don't know why, but the flavour is immaculate. <laughs> So now I am just planting a bunch of trees. So I know that there is a lot 
of people that have restarted their island for the new year and I am curious if anybody here has restarted their island for the new year and if you have restarted what is your island theme and what is your island name because I'm, I'm quite curious as to what other people are doing. and I clearly couldn't quite figure out where I wanted to put that sign. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am to be in the green season again. I got so bored of the snow. I was so uninspired. I'm so happy that I'm back in the, the luscious green environment that I missed so much. <laughs> So I'm just kind of planting bushes down and also filling up some of the empty grass space, I guess. And I sort of flip back and forth between the two areas for some reason. I guess I couldn't really find my inspiration on one side, so I started on the other. So now I'm going to start throwing down actual decorations now, I guess you could call them. Um, I really wanted to use more natural items, so kind of like less furniture pieces around my island because that would be more cottage core. So I kind of went for log stumps and log stools and mushroom items because they all seemed more naturey and foresty to me. My aim is to make this island kind of full of greenery because that's how I envision a foresty island to be but I will still keep some nice brown rustic elements in there because that's what I love. <laughs> All I wanted to do was place green leaf piles everywhere, but because I make the area so not cluttered, but kind of small in space, I couldn't place them anywhere other than like this cliff up here. <laughs> I was so sad about it. Of course, we had to bring out the barrel. What would an island be that's made by Toffee if there wasn't a barrel on the island? <laughs> Poncho do be lifting some heavy weights down there though. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then I kind of moved the water pump just out of the way so that it doesn't run into the river, which really annoys me, but it's fine, it can stay there, it will live a happy life. So now I am kind of working on this side. I know it's a little bit out of the entryway, but you can still kind of see it if you go to the right side of the airport. So I kind of classed it as my entrance. I didn't want to leave a bit of the cliff undone, really. That would have really bugged me. <laughs> Because I wanted to fit at least one more tree up here, I did do the kind of weird terraforming technique. I love this so much and I definitely don't use it enough. <laughs> The only thing that I guess I'm a bit sad about is that I couldn't fit more trees into this area but because there's so little space I couldn't really fit as many trees as I wanted to but it's fine because I will definitely definitely make up with it the rest of the island. It will, it will just be covered in trees. There will be trees everywhere. <laughs> And to make it super natural and super foresty, I dropped a bunch of mushrooms everywhere because why not? They look they just look cute. <laughs> Unlike Broccolo who is chilling in the background there. So now I'm going around and planting flowers and weeds. I'm planning on using a heck of a lot of weeds on this island just to make it more overgrown and when the weeds grow up a bit more it will look a lot more overgrown. Uh, that's kind of the, the feel, the vibe that I'm going for. <laughs>
And now I'm basically just doing the same on the other cliff. I'm just planting flowers and just plonking a bunch of weeds down. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't have many flower choices yet, um, so it's, it's pretty much mums and cosmos or nothing at all. <laughs> I do be picking up this weed a million times though to get the one I wanted down. Why can't you choose the weed that you want to place down? That would be so much more convenient. <laughs> And then I decided it would be super, super cute to put this leaf umbrella up here. I've never really had use for the leaf umbrella, and now it just looks adorable sitting up there on that cliff. And so this weird small nook didn't feel too empty, I decided to just put a bunch of nature items in here, and then I got stuck so I had to call um, for help and use my precious nook miles to get back to safety. <laughs> So that was my very first build on this island and my forest core entrance. Even though the space was super tiny, I'm really proud of how it came out. I think it's super sweet and super foresty. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Come and join the community discord. There are some amazing beans over there. And until the next video, stay cozy.